welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here just tuning in for the first time I'm happy you're here my name is Lauren and I am a second year first grade teacher here in Massachusetts that is still <laughs> so weird for me to say I have to admit I still really miss the first year first grade teacher intro but you know that's okay anyways today's video is going to be a little bit different it's not going to be a vlog um, or a day in my life like I typically put out today I am filming what I'm calling a functional teacher target haul <laughs> and I'm calling it functional because I am hoping that in sharing how I've used these items in my class before or how I will certainly be using them this year might help to kind of purpose the items in a way that um, you might find them more useful because I know in the past um, especially like my first ever video on this channel please do not go watch it now that I'm talking about it because it is very embarrassing but my first video I filmed like in my student teaching I think the summer before my student teaching was like a huge haul of teacher stuff from Target over the summer and I truly did not know like, how I was going to use those things if or when I was going to need them or use them and I'll be honest a lot of them I have not used effectively because I didn't have that purpose in purchasing them. So what I'm hoping that today's video might do for you, if you are a new teacher, maybe show you some things that you'll for sure use um, that will definitely come in handy, or maybe um, give you some new ideas if you're like a veteran teacher or a second year, third year experienced teacher. <laughs> and maybe you um, are looking at these items and thinking, I buy the same things every summer. I don't know why I keep buying these things. <laughs> maybe you'll hear some new ideas for how to use them. But I'm just hoping that in sharing what I've picked up, it might be helpful for you guys. By no means am I telling you that you need to go run and buy these things and go to Target every day um, to find every single item. If you want to go to Target every day because it makes you happy, do your thing. If you don't want to pay for a single thing that's in your classroom because that's what makes you happy, do your thing. This channel is not a teacher judgment space. We're not going to do that, but I'm happy that you're here and I will share with you what I picked up. But before we do that, you might have noticed that in the title, it says life update. You might have also noticed that I have a little friend here with me. This is my little friend. There's my life update. My fiance and I got engaged on the 4th of July and I am so excited to share that news with you guys here on this channel. Honestly, I feel like you guys are like, my best friends and my community and I've said that a million times this community has been such a positive thing in my life and in my teaching that I just feel like I have to share this news with you guys because I could explode I'm so excited um, obviously when you get engaged you want to like FaceTime all of your best friends and tell them about it and show it to them and like I wanted to pick up my phone and FaceTime everyone who subscribes to my YouTube channel <laughs> and tell you guys about it because you are so positive and I just know that you would be excited to hear that as well. So we are engaged. I am, we are <laughs> planning a wedding for August of 2021. So that will be sort of like my passion project outside of teaching this year. Last school year, um, my passion project, I would call it, was Miss Massachusetts USA. I decided to do that pageant and in like preparing for that and doing all of the research and the practicing and everything for that gave me something to do outside of the classroom that I was truly passionate about, excited for, just gave me something else in life so that teaching didn't become all consuming. And I know for me <laughs> in this school year that wedding planning is going to be my passion project. I mean, what what could you be more passionate about? I don't know, but I am so excited, you guys. And I'm not planning on doing um, like any wedding planning content or anything like that on this channel. I just wanted to share the news with you guys um, because I know some of you don't have Instagram or maybe you don't follow me over on Instagram, but I announced it on July 4th over in that space and I wanted to share it with you guys as well. So there is my big exciting news. I know I'm in, I'm in love, but <laughs> anyways, aside from that, um, what a happy day because now I'm going to show you all the fun, useful things that I've purchased for my classroom this summer. So probably the happiest video ever if I am smiling like a maniac. I'm sorry, but anyways, <laughs> let's get into the functional teacher target haul. Okay. First things first, the biggest item is 
lap desks. I've never had these, never in my one year of teaching. <laughs> I didn't have these last year. My team teacher did. And I know that her first graders especially loved having that more solid workspace because they are still developing the fine motor skills of really like holding the pencil the correct way, letter formation, writing and such. They're still kind of developing in that area. Sometimes working in like a non seated or upright position wasn't the easiest thing for all of my students. Some of my students would flop themselves down with a clipboard and be perfectly happy to do work on the floor in that way. But some of them preferred to work at their desk because they like to have that more sturdy writing space. And I kind of felt sad that I wasn't able to offer these to my students last year because like I said, my team teacher had them and I know her students love them. So I ended up getting four of them. These were the only colors that they had so I got two pink and two green that gives me four again we don't really know what the school year is going to look like this year we're kind of building the plane as we're already flying it through the air so maybe I won't be able to use these because maybe we won't be able to do centers at all and maybe my students won't really be able to work around the room freely maybe they'll have to stay in their exact seat and not touch anything else who knows but anyways I got these because I wish that I had them and I didn't so I didn't let them get past me this year there's that aside from big lap desks the only other um, like plastic items I got because I don't really need any of the storage containers or the book bins I already have them so the only other plastic things I got were these little magnetic um, storage containers I don't have a whiteboard. I think most teachers typically stick these to their whiteboard to hold like expo markers and an eraser and things like that. I don't have one, but I do have an easel and I would like to stick one of these on there to have a little bit of better storage because the tray is rather shallow that you use to like hold the markers or whatever you need in that space. So I think I'm gonna stick one of these on the easel. Um, I have two more. <laughs> I think one of them is going to go on my small group cart. So I have some space to hold like student trackers or um, anything else that I might need for guided reading. It'll just give me some additional storage on that cart and it'll be fun and colorful. So why not? And then I got one more and honestly, I'm not entirely sure what I'll do with this one yet, but another purpose for these, one way I used it was for behavior management. So my whole group system was like a marble jar reward system. And that includes the jar that stayed on our board. I have a chalkboard, so it stayed on the board. And then you have marbles, obviously, that you put in and take out. So one of these pockets I use to hold the marbles. There is a number that you're working for. So I used this pocket to hold the strips that say like how many, the numbers. And then there is a reward that you're working for. And I put those in here. So that way it was kind of separated nice and neatly for that specific behavior management system. So it's another way you could use these if you have an extra one or you're not really sure what to do with it. I really, really liked these for my behavior management system. So there is that. Um, speaking of my behavior management system, I made a few other purchases that are related to my complement system. So we use marbles for the whole class and then I used complements, which are kind of just like, I would say like the actual tangible physical version of like class dojo points. It was, it was essentially like a classroom economy. So students would earn compliments and I used this chart. It's the calendar chart from Target. Um, I used this chart to hold their compliments. So when it's all like folded out and hung up, it looks like this. And I would just number the front of the pockets. I did every other pocket, but I noticed that this one is longer. I don't know why, but it has like an extra row, I think, at the bottom. So I wanted to get one of these. That way, if I have a larger class size, I would be able to um, fit it. Because how it worked out is I only had 18 on my thing and I had 18 students at the end of the school year. So if I were to get another student, I don't know how I would have like fit them in to the complement system. So anyways, um, they were like little rhinestones that they would drop into their pocket and then I would count them at the end of the week. But also with like little hands going in and out of those pockets, they got a little like pulled away, you know what I'm saying? So I thought it would be nice to have another one. So I got this and then I also, uh, <laughs> I got another of the same just because I know that I'll use these. Um, I do use this for my calendar as well. I use like the Target pocket calendar and pizzas. So I picked up these just because I know that I'll use them. But speaking of calendar, aside from the actual physical holder, I also picked up 
new calendar pieces and that is because these pieces are bilingual they have the spanish and english version and i just really appreciate that especially working in a population with so many english language learners whose native language is spanish i am hoping to do a much better job this year of like honoring and incorporating that language their native language into our classroom but just having it present in the room so students feel more represented and know that that is a valuable thing to bring to their education and not something to be ignored in our classroom so i really loved that i found these like i said they're just the same cards but they have the month headers and the days of the week headers in spanish and english i still haven't really thought of if I'm going to have like two calendars I could now because I have an extra one if I'm gonna have two one English and one Spanish or if I'll like change it out I'm not totally sure yet if you have any ideas leave them below but I got the calendar cards as well for that reason probably the least exciting on the surface purchase that I made were these adhesive pockets so I have the Target name tags. I got one more pack of those as well, so I'll show them to you. I have these for student names on their desk because they have all of the other resources available on the name tag. Um, and I use these adhesive pockets to hold them down. Well, here's the thing. Little fingers tend to pick and tug at these stickers that are stuck to their desk that the name tags slide into. So I ended up needing more of these than I thought I would. And then also where I work, we have more of a transient student population. So I got a lot of new students throughout the year and I was like moving and adding these to tables to expand the number of students that the table could fit. So when I saw these, I know that I will use them because at one point in time last year, I was looking to see if I could purchase these online like mid school year and I couldn't and I was like almost out. So had I gotten another new student, I wouldn't have had the little name tag holder, which is fine. I could have just like used packing tape to tape the name tag down or something. But I like these because you can move the students around without having to like rip off a name tag and throw it away and write a new name tag. Instead, you can just slide the name out move it to a different spot and switch it with that name tag because they do slide in and out and um little life hack for you if you're going into your first year of teaching granted this year is going to look a little different but seating charts move because you don't really know you're not really able to anticipate how things are going to go the first week of school when you've just met them who's going to be best friends who's not going to be able to work effectively in that space who might ask to be moved to a different table you never know so these make it easy to move your kids around i got one two three four five of these um they're a little more pricey they're three dollars each but like i said i know i'll use them and there was a point in time last year where i was wishing i had more and you can't really get them in the middle of the school year so i'm glad i got those more functional items <laughs> i got these magnetic clips um these are just like little ooh, it's not really focusing because they're white little like binder clips that stick they have like the strong magnets on the back to your board and i wish that i had more of these last year too because i was hanging things on our um, chalkboard in the front of the room and i just like these because instead of like maybe gluing magnets to things um, i'm able to just clip things on and then maybe clip a new anchor chart in front of it maybe clip a new one in front of that I think I'm going to use these instead on my chalkboard in the back of the room that is magnetic I think I will use these to clip instead of sticking anchor charts onto the paper over the chalkboard because then when I would pull them off it would kind of like pull the paper off of the off of the um chalkboard if that makes sense so anyways I really like these I got two sets of these magnetic clips, maybe one for the chalkboard in the back of the room that I use as a bulletin board, and then one for our huge chalkboard in the front of the room that we use as like our command center where we keep everything. So I got those as well. Okay, next item. I got some punched letters. Last year, I did not get any of these because in my mind, I was thinking, oh, you would use these for a bulletin board and I can just use my Cricut for that. And that's very true. And honestly, I will probably continue to do that for bulletin boards. 
and I don't think many of my bulletin boards are going to change this year but one way that I'm hoping to use these that I didn't really think of last year is in making anchor charts um, and that is because in our room we would make the anchor chart together so all that would maybe be on the paper would be like a skeleton with a title and maybe some words that we're going to define and then we would add to it to like include examples and things that we created together as a class and not just me. So with that being said, I threw my anchor charts away because I'm not going to keep them for next year and then just pull them out because what's on the anchor charts didn't come from the students I'll have this year, if that makes sense. And I think it's very important to include students as like active participants in constructing that knowledge that you're then going to display around the room so then they have like ownership of it and they're able to use it because they understand like how we made that anchor chart so anyways there's my anchor chart spiel but with that being said I don't like hate anchor charts I think they're great I have the whole space in my classroom along the white doors where I would display anchor charts um and honestly these are going to make doing the headings a lot easier because they are just lowercase letters. I felt like as far as like readability goes, they are great for students. It's a very easy like print kind of font. So if I were to use these for the headers or the title on an anchor chart, um, one, I just think it would make it cuter because I would try to like use cute handwriting to label them and um it was just kind of tricky but then also this whole pack of letters was three bucks so I'll use them I'll maybe make the title of an anchor chart or two and then I can just throw it away and I won't feel bad about it um so yeah that's what I'm going to use these for that's why I got three packs so I could maybe use them for like anchor chart titles all year so I got these in the rainbow color I think they had white and black as well but I use white chart paper so the white wouldn't have worked and I just like the rainbow better so I got the rainbow ones um some more letters I purchased some of these last year sorry the plastic sound is really annoying they are the wood clips like clothespins that have letters on them and when I purchased these last year my hope was to use them for word work but I found that I didn't have enough for students to effectively use them in a small group setting in order to build words especially the vowels like obviously some letters if you only had one x or one y that would probably be sufficient but some of the, the vowels especially but then also some of the consonants students tend to use more frequently when they are building words so I found that I didn't have enough of these to um, really use them effectively so I picked up three more sets and now I know that I will feel confident in kind of like putting these out as a manipulative either at centers um, again with all this said if we have centers or using them in like small group for quick like word work practice and word building word study kind of activities but we'll see now I have enough that I will be able to more effectively use them at least so I'm happy to have these moving on I got two of these safety lanyards these ones are actually designed for food allergies which I thought was interesting um, I'll definitely keep these food allergy stickers to use with them but I will most likely take out this insert that says hello I have a food allergy with blank I will most likely remove that and put in a little card that just says the student name um, I just wanted to have new student lanyards and I liked this color so that's why I grabbed these ones um, even though I'll most likely end up like I said creating new cards to go in them last year for I think like the first maybe like two or three days of the school year I had the students wear these and it had their name and their number in it and that was really helpful for me um, one I didn't have to write their name on a sticker every day to stick on to them um, but then it also just helped us to get familiar with each other's names and then I kept them in my like emergency area for when we would have fire drills and we would go outside that way they could have it and they could put it on in the case of like them needing to be identified they would be able to wear these so I just picked up some new ones because they got a little dingy from like them touching them and playing with them and everything and they're pretty inexpensive for a pack of 10 it's three dollars so six dollars and I have my lanyards for next year and like I said I know exactly how I'll use them and I'm also excited about the addition of the food allergen stickers because I can add that to the students who will have a food allergy so that will be nice I got those wow only a few more things left I just realized that I said I didn't get any storage 
it, some of the stuff was in this bin so I forgot that it was even there because it was stacked up in here I got one more um tray like paper tray holder because I think I had there was like one um bin like turn-in bin from last year that I wanted oh it was folders that's what it was okay so I didn't have anywhere for students to really put their folders last year I used one of the more shallow like activity trays you know what I'm talking about the ones that are only like this deep and they're like big for students to put their folders in but then it didn't really like keep them contained because it didn't really have sides so sometimes they would fall out it was just kind of a little bit of a headache so I wish that I had one more of these bins for them to put their folders in so I got one more of these bins and I can label it folders my other ones I think say like reading um math things like that but now I can label this one with folders and they'll be able to put their folders in here so that's why I got this one okie dokie these ones may seem a little silly but I got three bags of student erasers these were a big hit in our compliment store which is was kind of like the um reward component of my individual token economy the compliment system in my class that we had the compliment store and so students would a lot of times choose like these little mini erasers as their um, prize to purchase with their compliments so these are just a very cost effective way to kind of like stock your store in your classroom or if you do like a treasure box or I know some teachers use taps um, you can like look that up and find more information on that but a taps is like a similar system where they, if they earn a compliment they get like a small little treat and these are a very cost effective way to compile those treats because now I have 180 little erasers for three dollars so I got these one of them is um, mermaids let me see yeah you can kind of see like in there the little mermaids one of them has dinosaurs that are blue and purple. And then one of them has unicorns and rainbows in it. So I got those. And then I got these little clothespins for myself. Um, they're very colorful, which as you're kind of picking up here, I like colorful things, <laughs> but they have the days of the week and then the months of the year. And I thought that these would be effective in like kind of planning my copies for the week. I could clothespin like each day's copies so that I know like, how to keep them separated once I've made the copies, how to like sort them, what drawer they'll go into, that kind of thing. And then the months of the year I can use in my um, filing cabinet where I keep all of our activities, I could just clip these onto each folder so I can see like quickly which month of the year each folder is for. So I got those. Okay, and then the last few things. I have two of these big like chart sets and I'll show you the back of them because then you can kind of see like what is included but that is all of the charts that are included in this one and they are these big dry erase templates for different sorts of like graphic organizers so this one is just very broad and general it's not labeled there are no like titles or anything on any of the charts they're just general um, graphic organizers that could be interdisciplinary you could use them in different areas and I feel like this one is more like older some of the charts are a little more advanced would probably be a little difficult to use with my first graders but I just thought that this was such a great tool given that they are dry erase I liked this one especially was a reason that I purchased this set because I felt like that would be useful and I also love the Venn diagram because I don't know about you guys but I cannot draw circles to save my life so <laughs> now I won't have to I will have this nice little dry erase Venn diagram and I can hang these on my easel because they come with like these little I don't know if you can see it little metal hooks that run through the binding of them and these will be able to hook onto the top of my easel so that I can like pull them out and display them up quickly so I got this set and these are a little more pricey um let's see it comes with 16 different pages and the cost is seven dollars so I got this one and then I got one more that I am even more so excited for because these ones aren't so like hold on let me move the plastic Okay, sorry, the plastic was so noisy as I was trying to like move them around. So this is the second one that I got. I forgot to mention that their official name for these like pads of um, graphic organizers is dry erase activity blotter. I hate that word. I don't know who decided to name these a blotter. Like, is that really what this is called? But anyways, um, so I got another blotter. <laughs> this one is more geared toward reading and writing. So let me show you which come included. I'm sorry for the glare, you guys. It's um, the ring light. 
but these are included in this set. I am most excited for the informative writing planner where you're able to write your topic, your main idea, and your three supporting details. Also for the opinion writing planner, it says um, my opinion is dot 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 with three reasons. Um, to me, these are perfect for more entry level writing because you are able to really, really model like one single paragraph. Essentially, if you were in like upper elementary, you could probably use these to um, theme like each of your five paragraphs if you wanted to. But for me, this is perfect. And that's how I plan to use it. Then there also is um, some like comprehension ones for reading like I mentioned this is called a five W's chart so after reading we could just think of the five W's who what where when and why to really understand what was happening in the story or you could also use that to plan a narrative writing if you wanted to plan your who what where when and why before you started writing so there's that one um yeah there's just a lot of useful pieces and parts I do love this one too the cause and effect and then the story map that's on the front this is a dream. I love this. You write maybe three of the main characters. What was the setting and what was the plot? This is like reading comprehension in a nutshell. If a student could tell me who were the three characters, where did it take place, and what were the general things that happened, boom, that's where the money is. So to me, this was like the coolest addition to the Target Teacher Spot or Dollar Spot, Bullseye Playground, whatever it's called this year. I thought these were so super stinking useful. I love these. So um, no regrets as far as this purchase goes. And like I said, I'll be able to hang them up on my easel, um, kind of like in between the two boards because they do come with hooks. So really excited about those. Hate that they're called blotters. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I got two blotters. <laughs> and then my last item, I'm going to put a quick little disclaimer. This was my one frivolous purchase and I don't really know how I'm going to use it but I just thought it was really cool it was only a dollar and I just think it's cool so I'm going to show you scratch off stickers so you take these and you put them over the top of whatever you wrote and then it becomes like a scratch off and I just think this is so cool and interesting and it was only a dollar and I was like you know what I'm gonna get it. I really, really doubt that I'll ever have first graders whip out pennies and start scratching off and getting that mess all over our classroom. But maybe I use these like in my personal life to do something cool. I don't know. I just thought these were really, really cool. Like you can make a scratch off out of anything. So there is my one non-functional item that probably doesn't belong in my functional teacher hall. But that's it. That is everything that I purchased this year. And there is nothing else that I've like seen someone post or anything that I think I need. Um, I will say some of the things that I'm not purchasing this year, I am not purchasing any more borders. Um, I really liked my bulletin boards last year and I felt like I have like a good skeleton in my room. And honestly, that's what I like my room to be at the beginning of the year is more of like an empty sort of like skeleton of what it will become. So I don't have anything on the bulletin boards. I just have them either titled or not titled. There was one that didn't have a title until we had a need for it last year and that was fine. But I like for everything to be mostly just like white bulletin board paper. So it's nice and clean looking with the same like rainbow borders I used last year. I love them. I don't think I'm going to change them. Um, and I like it all to be the same so that it's pretty uniform and it's not overstimulating visually to the kids. So there's that. I'm not going to buy any borders. I didn't get any um, sort of like decor because I didn't need it because like I said, I purchased, sorry, pop up. I purchased those things beforehand before last year. Um, so yeah, this is like everything that I needed and I'm really excited about it. If you have any questions or maybe you guys have any other things that you really like this year that you're excited to use and you want to drop them down below, I'm sure that'd be really helpful, especially like I said, for those new teachers who are not sure what they need to buy, how they'll use it. If you have anything from the target teacher spot that you think is like an essential for me the biggest one would be those adhesive pouches like if you're gonna buy anything get those pouches that's my thing that I think are really useful if you have a thing like that and you want to drop it down below please do that because then we can kind of have a conversation about how to make sure that we're being intentional in planning and purchasing things for our classroom so I would love to have that conversation here um 
But that is everything. That's all that I purchased. I'm happy that you were able to enjoy it all with me. And I'm excited I was able to share my life update with you guys. Uh, but that's going to be all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, stick around. And like I said, leave any comments you have, questions you have. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, friends.